After Tegra 2, dual first, the world's first dual core. After Tegra 3, the world's first quad core. And then we double the performance of that with Tegra 4. What's next for us? What we decided to do was we decided to make Tegra K1 the world's first 192 core processor. <laughs> 192 CUDA cores, all programmable by the, comp by, the, by, the um, by programs, all fully programmable, all massively parallel. And this is the first GPU, the reason why we decided to call it Tegra K1 is because this is the first GPU that took a vast jump from the previous generation. It's almost inappropriate to call it Tegra 5 because it's simply not linear. We decided to call it Tegra K1. We decided to call it Tegra K1 because it's based on the Ke Kepler architecture. As many of you know, Kepler is the most successful GPU architecture that we have ever created and it's the most important GPU architecture the industry had ever known. From 192 cores all the way to 36 million cores running our nation's fastest supercomputer. Let me explain some of the technology behind it. So first of all, in order to capture the human face, our skin is a living thing. Light penetrates through our outer layers, goes into the skin, bounces around inside, and then scatters and then comes out picking up some of the tone of the color of your blood. And as a result, when you look at them, um, it looks alive. Of course, there's a lot of pores. Um, your eyes are the windows to the soul. And so obviously the eyes have to look alive. In this particular case, we use a technology called ray tracing to ray trace the eyes. That's why the eye crystal looks like it's, looks like it's alive. And of course, all of the shadows are being rendered so beautifully. You see no triangles, no faceting whatsoever. Triangles have disappeared. The lighting system is so sophisticated, we can pick up the little sheen of the oil of his face. This is what, this is what a state-of-the-art mobile application, mobile game looks today. In fact, this is, an app, this is a game that's featured on Tegra 4, and it's on Tegra Zone. It's a fantastic game, and they're doing incredibly well. However, this is what last generation graphics looks like. Let's show them what next generation graphics look like. Now let's just kind of take this in a little bit. This particular image, notice the trash can. You see no triangles whatsoever. All the faceting is gone. The detail is so exquisite that when the light shines on it, it looks perfectly smooth. All the shadows are soft. It seems like light is coming from all over. It's being lit. The scene is being lit in darkness. There isn't one particular light that's showing up somewhere, but light is bouncing all over the walls using this technology called global illumination, where everything in the scene is a light source. Uh, so this is by a company called Frozen Byte. Uh, it's, a, it's a custom game they've made. Uh, this is a first for mobile. Uh, it's a really fun game. Uh, it's like, kind of like a platformer, two and a half D. But the cool thing is you have uh, three characters. Uh, so you can have your warrior guy, you can switch to have a wizard, and he can like... Uh, now remember, this is a mobile device that's been blown <laughs> up to, this, to the size of a theater. Okay? Absolutely. This is a mobile device that's been blown up to the size of a theater. Look at the exquisite detail. Uh, so uh, th they've used the NVIDIA physics actually in this. So um, you interact and a lot of the puzzles are based on physics and you have to sort of uh, figure out different ways, and we'll see that just up here. So if I run inside now, past the, uh, the beautiful sort of uh, Egyptian statues. So here we have a, a puzzle. This one's uh, fairly straightforward, and I have played it a couple times. So you can choose which character you want. So I can try and uh, reflect this beam. And you note the way the lighting uh, follows the beam around this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Yeah. So I think I'm actually going to use the wizard here, and I'm going to grab this, uh, this box and hit the special key, and I should be able to open the door. There we go. Now, while, you do, while he's doing that, look at the, how the lighting is changing the environment. Yeah. Everything's all lit so beautifully. 
Yeah, it's, it's all dynamic lighting. It's a beautiful game. The artwork in this is, is just exquisite. Now, if you compare Tegra K1 to a couple of other well-known platforms in the world, one of them is the PlayStation 3 and one of them is the Xbox 360, both of them are last-generation graphics capabilities called DX9. Tegra K1 is based on DX11. But if you look at the horsepower, just the raw horsepower alone, the GPU has more horsepower than both Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and the CPU is far and away more powerful than both the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. And all of that is made possible because of mobile technology now available in just a few watts. And so what you're going to have is essentially the visual richness of next generation capability, but the horsepower of a game console right in your palms. Really, really amazing. So I'm super excited to introduce Tegra K1 to you.